Geothermal energy is a sustainable way to produce electricity. In geothermal power plants, hot fluids are pumped up from a deep water reserve. Heat is then exchanged to produce electricity and the cool fluids are re-injected to refill the reserve. In these systems, several extreme conditions are present, such as high temperature, varied pH and high pressure. A good understanding of the system will learn efficient use of geothermal power plants. However, some important parameters are still largely unknown, such as the microbial diversity present in the fluids. Indeed, in these deep water reserves, we may find bacteria, fungi and archaea. Bacteria and fungi are present in a dormant state, called spores, which make them more resistant to extreme conditions. Archaea do not form spores, but they are still extremely resistant. In the power plant, microorganisms are brought up with the fluids, and when they arrive at the heat exchanger, there will be a huge drop in temperature. This change may create conditions that are favorable for microorganisms, which may wake up and start to grow. That microbial growth can cause issues in the power plant, for example, by blocking filters or inducing mineralization. Afterwards, the microorganisms are brought down with the fluids. During my PhD project within Reflect, I'm interested to know which microorganisms are present down there, which of them can grow in the pipes and under which conditions they grow. Such knowledge could allow us to avoid issues related to microorganisms in power plants and, maybe, even benefit from them.